Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be speaking about Warzone Ultramar. The Warhammer community website put out an article the other day uh, with some details about this but also there's been some leaks come online about a new campaign system which matches up to this Warzone stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to speak about the article that the Warhammer community put out and then we're also going to speak about the leaks and put two and two together and see where we get. So let's jump in and let's get started. Okay, if you don't want to listen to me rabble on about the law, because I'm just going to read it straight from the article, then there is a link in the description like all my videos. Go and read it yourself and we'll come back and then we can actually discuss uh, what was said. So it starts with Warzone Ultramar, all in caps, very dramatic. And it goes into, Greedy eyes looked out from the rolling warp. They lingered long over the southern reaches of the Ultima Segmentum. Nurgle wanted them for his own. He wished to lavish his gifts upon them, to watch their citizens sprout new growths and lament while other parts rotted and sloughed off. The worlds of Ultramar were prosperous, well-governed and beautiful. It is no wonder that such a gem drew the eager eye of Nurgle. Wishing to annex the worlds directly into his own garden in the realm of chaos, the father of plague set his minions to the task. After the great rift tore reality and flooded the warp energies into the galaxy, Nurgle deemed the time was ripe. Where the seeds of corruption had been planted, where the plague that walks, the oozing pox, and the eye rot that had decimated overcrowded hive worlds, there did Nurgle put forth his greatest efforts. A darkness closed over those worlds. New, virulent strains of those dreadful diseases started the cycle of death anew. This time, however, the cycle was completed, for there was life also. From the corpses of the fallen burst countless nurglings. In the devastation that ensued, the cults of corruption summoned fervor aid. The following battles, known by the Imperium as the Plague Wars, ended when three systems to the galactic north of Ultramar were corrupted and turned into the Scourge Stars. Calling upon three of his greatest commanders, Nurgle tasked them with next conquering Ultramar. And that is what we have so far, ladies and gentlemen, from the article. That is the law bit. I just wanted to get that out there so we have a little bit of information to talk about. So what does this mean? Basically, Nurgle is coming for Gilliman. Now, we've uh, well, I already did, I already did a video, uh, video about Mortarian returning. And uh, in that video, uh, I'm going to put the picture on the background again. Uh, you see uh, Gilliman and Mortarian fighting. So we know for a fact in the law that they're going to meet. The circumstances and how they meet and how it ends, I have no idea. Um, but it looks like to me, Gilliman is building his, his new empire from Ultramar. He doesn't really want to go to Terra and start building it from there because that is the Emperor's domain. I don't think he wants to take any of the show from the Emperor. He wants to go back to Ultramar and he wants to build it from there, which makes sense because Ultramar has 500 worlds. It has a massive system of worlds, and you know you've got Forge worlds there, you've got Agri worlds, you've got Hive worlds. You know you can you can basically build the uh, the the Crusade what he's doing from his basically his 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 uh, home world and the the planet surrounding his uh, home world so that makes completely sense and of course Nurgle has seen this it's seen what such a gem the uh, the Ultima Segmentum is and uh, the Ultraman system and stuff like that and he just wants to come in and he wants to spread his plague and take it all for himself <laughs> so he can't really blame the guy so I think now that in 8th edition Nurgle is going to be the main uh, god. Uh, I know we still haven't saw some of the models that they released in the Nurgle video. I, again, I covered that in previous videos. So I think after all the Primaris stuff comes out, since we've still got the Primaris Dreadnought to come out, there's uh, the Primaris tanks that are coming out uh, as well. I think we've got a, a Land Raider coming out, and we've also got a, a Rhino coming out. I haven't really looked at any of the... Uh, the rule book leaks that are online because I don't really want to spoil myself at the moment so I just want to sit down in one night and have all them to myself and just go through it all so I haven't really been paying attention of course I've seen people discussing it but I don't really want to go down and start reading all the rules and stuff I'm just going to wait till I actually get the book in front of me but I, I think that after all the Primaris stuff comes out I think we're going to have a really really big chaos launch and Nurgle is going to be the main the the actual main focus on that of course with Mortarian leading the way maybe we may even see uh, Abaddon come over and try and help uh, actual Mortarian out because you know Abaddon's still around and hopefully he'll get a new model because I'm still hoping for a triumphant of like a chaos set and maybe may, actually maybe 
uh, will have uh, Mortarian in that with Abaddon and maybe another Lieutenant or something like that. Who knows? So that may be uh, something to, to talk about and maybe something interesting in the future to, uh, to actually uh, look at. Now this leads into the next point I want to speak about which is a brand new summer campaign aimed at us tabletoppers. So uh, this is called The Fate of Connor. So what Connor is, it's a planet right before Macrag. I'm putting on, on, on the screen now a little map which came with the article where Connor is and where Macrag is and stuff. So it looks like the Imperial, uh, the Chaos Forces are going, to, are going to attempt to take Connor to basically open up the gates to assault my, uh, actual Macrag itself. So it looks like uh, a planet uh, which is going to be their basically staging ground. Now there is a GW... Uh, uh, group uh, well it's called GW Hanover it's a, it's a shop in Hanover which put this statement out on their Facebook page I think they delete it now I'm not too sure and it says here the worshippers of chaos seek to smash a path through the Imperial battle line to McCrag homeworld of the ultramarines should should they succeed the great Imperial stronghold in the sector will be gravely threatened and Gilliman's forces will be cut off and surrounded muster up prepare your forces for each completed unit receives one point for your side in this campaign as you amass your forces ready for battle this week doubles for all space marine units and start collecting boxes completed july the 30th to august the 5th fate of connor the battle begins now also on the screen now you've seen a picture of uh, like a little I think it's like a promotion pack and stuff you're seeing. Now, I'm sorry, this is the only, the best picture quality I can get. I know it's really, really small. Please forgive me. But this is the only thing I can actually come uh, up against. So, it looks like now we're actually getting a, a brand new summer campaign, which has really got me interested. I can't really remember the last campaign that happened. Was it the 13th Crusade with Abaddon and stuff? I can't really remember. Uh, and I think Chaos won that and GW retconned it as like, uh, the Imperium won it, if I remember right. I'm, I can't remember. It's, it's so long ago, but I'm super pumped for this. Uh, especially, you know, if we're gonna have like Primax fighting Primax now, and you know, if I wouldn't, I wonder what happens if Chaos wins. Are they actually gonna like push on for McCrag? Uh, a GW gonna let that happen? Will, will they let that happen? I have no idea. All, all I know is that all's, I'm just gonna go down to my local GW store and just represent. I've got my Gilman model. I've got some Imperial Fist, of course I got, I'm going to paint on my new Primaris Marine, so I'm going to do my bit to uh, defend uh, Connor and make sure he doesn't fall uh, into the hands of Chaos. Alright chaps, that is me done, I hope you've enjoyed the video, please leave me some feedback, please tell me what you think about all this stuff, I would love to hear it, I love chatting to you, all, all you, you chaps in all the comments, I uh, hope you have a great day and I shall see you all soon, see you now and bye bye.